Hello, hello, hello! By the end of this tutorial, you should be able to make a main menu that you can control either by your mouse or your keyboard. Our simple menu can start the game, go to the options, and quit the game. For menus in Godot, we want to use the UI node which is already here by default. Let's rename this node to menu. Now let's add some children to it. We want our menu to be a vertical top-down list, so we are going to use a VBox container for this. Now let's add our actual buttons. To the VBox container, add a button node. Duplicate that two times by pressing Ctrl D. Let's rename them to Start button, Options button, and Quit button, just to avoid confusion. Let's also add their respective texts in this window. We can position the whole VBox container wherever we want by pressing this Layout button. In our case, we are going to use the bottom left layout because I am a Final Fantasy VII fanboy. We can further fine-tune the position of the VBox container by using the Margins property. At this point, we can already test our scene by pressing F6 and we can see that it works. But of course, the buttons don't do anything yet, so let's fix that. Let's add a script to our menu so we can code what each button does. Let's go to our start button and go to the notes window. Look for the signal pressed and connect it to our menu script. And now we can code what the button does in this function. For the start button, we only have to change our scene to the first scene in our game. Get tree.change scene and then paste the string of your first scene in here. In my case, it's level 0. And now it should work. Now let's go to the Options button. The way I implemented options in my game is by instancing a scene of the Options menu and then adding it as a child of the current node. You don't have to do this, I don't know how you implement options in your own game. I am only doing this as an example. Finally, let's connect the Quit button. And the code is simply get tree.quit. Let's test it by pressing F6 and now it should work. But right now, we can only control it with our mouse. To be able to control it with our keyboard, we just have to add a very simple code. Add the ready function in our script, just call grab focus on whichever button you want. In this case, I'm going to use the start button as our starting point. And now we can see that it can be controlled by the keyboard using the default UI input map, which are the arrow keys and enter. Now if you want to get even more fancy, the last thing that we have to do is set up our neighbors, which basically tells Godot which button should be focused next when you press up, down, left or right. Let's go to the start button and go to the inspector window, and now let's look for the focus tab. Let's set the neighbor top to be our quit button, because if we are on the start button and we press up, we want the next button to be the quit button. And let's do the opposite for the quit button we want the neighbor bottom to be the start button. And now as you can see our menu is looping perfectly. At this point we are done but of course I want my main menu to look better than yours so I am going to apply my own theme on it and you can go cry in the corner with your ugly main menu. And there we go, everything works perfectly. If you have any questions, join the Harambert Discord server and you can ask me there yourself. Or if you want to follow our game Polaris, join the Polaris Discord server, links in description.